Holland. I know. I know. I was really hoping I wouldn't see you back here again. Yeah. Ugh, now I have to send you home. I, I just misjudged the dose. I'm not going to OD again. Can someone help us? On it. I'm already taking less than I was before, and I have a whole new plan. OK, we talked about this. Addiction is not something that you can tackle alone. You need support. Trust me. I know the dance all too well. Please, Lauren. How can I help? Are you aware your ED just discharged another patient who overdosed on opiates? No, but I'm not surprised. We're up to about 10 a day now. Do you know how much the opioid epidemic cost this country last year? $500 billion. $700 billion. We've seen a massive increase in patient overdoses, most of whom are simply treated and released, only to return days later if they're lucky. And most of these folks are uninsured, so we're operating a loss. Is that your issue? It certainly is one of them. Well, Karen, I assure you that we spend a lot of time talking to our patients about the dangers of opioids. But when you have massive pharmaceutical companies delivering a very different message. I know what they're delivering. Then what have I done wrong? Nothing, which is precisely the problem. I thought you wanted me to do nothing. Not today. Today, I want you to turn this epidemic around. All the crazy ideas, all the impulsive, rash tantrums you want to throw, throw them. Break the law. I don't care. You'll have my full, unwavering support. Is this, um, are there, are there cameras? Max, I want to see how much damage you can do. Challenge accepted. This is one dose, one pill of the opiate oxycodone. The pharmacy asked me for a prescription, and seeing as I was only looking for a visual aid, I didn't have one. So I had to drag our chairwoman here to the dispensary, where we each had to sign waivers affirming our educational intent. But if I sold you this pill, or even just gave it to you, it's a loss of medical license for me and actual jail time for her. One percent. That's how many doctors at New Amsterdam are in this room. Yet you prescribe 79% of the opioids here. And given that we are hooking patients by the thousands on drugs that are a molecule away from black tar heroin, can anyone tell me why you all shouldn't be arrested? You know they have a legitimate use. Not at the levels you're prescribing them. None of us prescribe them lightly. Standards of care suggest they're the best choice for our patients. Not true. The SOC says they're the most efficient choice. And if you're looking to drop a few pounds, amputation is pretty efficient, too. Our patients want them, Max. They ask for them by brand name. They also do that with cigarettes. And our funding is tied to patient satisfaction scores. Well, it's kind of hard to be satisfied if you're dead. Max. Nope, this changes now. All right, since you all prescribe 79% of our opioids, I am giving you one year to prescribe 79% less. And anyone who does not meet that mark will be fired. Thank you for coming. You may get some calls. This is war, Max. And your solution is to berate our staff. Yeah, and threaten. Hell, I could have done that. I want a macro solution. I want the full max. But that down there, very disappointing. Hi. So uh, I'm here to end the opioid epidemic. OK. So half the ODs occur within three months of a visit to the emergency room. But if we prescribe Suboxone, we could manage the symptoms of opioid withdrawal without the risk of fatality. Exactly. We'll need a Treatment Act waiver from the DEA. And even then, each licensed doctor is only allowed to treat 30 patients at a time. So who's all licensed? You're looking at her. Really? Well, that has to change today. Well, to get everyone licensed, I'll have to go on an all-day training course. Sure, OK. Grab all the doctors, attendings, residents, and have them take that test. And nobody comes back until they pass. That would mean shutting down the ED. Yeah, so shut it down. No, Max. Yes. You want me to call the Department of Public Health, reroute all the ambulances, suspend our level one trauma status, and potentially move a multitude of patients who are already being treated. It's a great plan. Max, that's unheard of. It would make the news. And Brantley. We'll love it. Go. Uh, not sure if you've heard, but both NPR and New York One are buzzing about us. 
because you shuttered the ED? That's right. Both lead stories, both focused on the opioid epidemic. You know, we're going to have more licensed suboxone doctors in this hospital than any other hospital in the country. Wonderful. You want a cookie? What? I didn't ask you to raise awareness. I asked you to solve the problem. But instead, you're handing out detox drugs while millions of people outside the hospital are suffering. I don't work outside the hospital. Yes, you do, when you want to. Blood pressure testing in barbershops, chasing down insurance agents in their offices. Come on, Max. It's me you're talking to. People are dying. Do better. Oh, Casey, Casey, get him situated in neurology. Don't let them pawn him off. Carolyn Werner, 20, fell in Times Square. Looks like a radial on the fracture. BP 120 Okay, over. let me stop you right there. She is stable with an isolated injury to the arm? Yeah. Turn her around and take her to Baptist. Are you serious? Oh, uh, we thought dispatch was mistaken. No. We are closed. What the hell am I supposed to do with all these? Uh, I don't know, Dr. Skeen. They are patients admitted to your care, so tend to them? 20 people? You've clogged every bed in my department with this, this, uh, whatever you're doing. We are trying to solve the opioid crisis, a crisis which you helped cause. I'm a dermatologist. Everybody told me that it would be impossible to get the city's top medical directors together in one room, but then I reminded them how much medical directors enjoy a free lunch. So, um, earlier today, I uh, put New Amsterdam on diversion. I know that closing RED caused problems for many of you. To those of you who are still annoyed, I just want to say it's about to get worse. This is how much money New Amsterdam spends on opioids every year. And every hospital network in the city is spending the same. Just the 15 of us sitting here in this room are spending one billion dollars a year on a product that we know is killing people. We're hospitals. Killing people should be pretty high on the list of things we try not to do. Opioids work incredibly well. That's right, Florence, they do work, but they also worked in 1996, and back then they worked without causing an international addiction crisis. That was before the Nylers started launching propaganda campaigns and buying off hospitals. Including yours. That's right, including mine. Raise your hand if your hospital has a Nyler wing. I'm not saying that New Amsterdam is better than anyone else. I am saying it's time to return to ethical behavior. So instead of giving the Nylers another billion dollars this year, I'd like to propose um, a new number. I'm ready to cancel New Amsterdam's opioid contract right now. And I want you all to do the same. We have to hit them hard. We have to hit them together. And what we need is unity. Unity is an antitrust violation. There is blood on all of our hands. I think it's time to wash it off. So who's with me? Lawrence? Pass. We could change things. Dr. Farnham. John. 